Hello, hello. We are in uh, Santa Cruz and uh, well, there's still a bit of ash lying here at the side of the road and uh, yeah, we are here at a little bridge and Juan Carlos is here as well. Hola. Hello. And uh, we are actually looking up one of the riverbeds here. This is dry <laughs> right now, but uh, it's not dry all year round. Juan Carlos, you have experience with the weather here in the Canaries. Yeah. What's the story with these riverbeds? Well, first thing is to say that there are no rivers in the Canary Islands because they, they, the soil is so porous, so permeable, that the uh, continuous uh, rivers are not existent. If only in the Caldera de Tauriente is a small barranco that is, has more or less a continuous course of water. But the important thing here is to see that when rains, uh, the, actually the, in the island of La Palma, uh, the rain is about 1,800 uh, uh, 1, millimeters per year, so it's a very intense uh, rain. But also the important fact is the topography. Uh, we, ha we are looking at the sea and we think that this is uh, the end of the island, but the, the, the island is 2,000 meters high above sea level and continues for about three kilometers more so in total the we can see only about 80 uh, percent of the of the the total volume of the island the rest is on the on, on the sea water uh, is the submarine part and the, this means that the, top, the difference in level in the island are very the island is very steep so the erosion is very intense with uh, when rains uh, in heavy rains and so this is why they have to put uh, traps to get the the sediments to avoid the how you say the the, the course of this barranco to clog with uh, the yes this is a sediment trap an artificial sediment one trap, yes. so that the big boulders can get stuck there you actually yes. see boulders here being attached to them and then they come and clean and they clean it out then and this helps to catch the big boulders and to actually protect the bridges on the like the one we are standing on because if the big boulders are coming down unhindered in uh, these flash flood moments there when there's heavy see, rainfall there and you can see the sediment there's a bit of sediment clean. correct very good yeah. so um, then uh, there would be huge problems with these mud flows that are boulder rich and um, once there's heavy rainfall in winter these flash floods can come within a short time and they come with enormous force and this is an attempt to slow them down and this is an old trick that's been used all over the world it's also actually in Hawaii I mean, exactly and I've seen it in Indonesia the Japanese have uh, used it as sabu dams they're using it there so um, and uh, they're creating these sedimentary barriers in order to slow down moving material whether it's now flash floods or pyroclastic flows or things like that but that's the trick here so thank you very and much this, Carlos. And, and this well this illustrates how fast in geological terms this island can be eroded away and this is why um, a volcanic eruption that the one that we have been working on 10 minutes ago is important to to uh, how you say to increase the, the volume and the surface of the island and prevent this continuous fight between uh, marine erosion and volcanic construction. This is this endless struggle between Absolutely. construction and destruction of In the, the islands. In the Western Island, the volcanic construction is prevailing, but in the Oriental Island, the marine erosion is prevailing, and that's why the islands are so flat. Yes, Fuerteventura and, so and Lanzarote, the Eastern Islands. Because since they are not high enough, they cannot stop the trade winds and the humidity, Atlantic humidity, and they are deserted like the Sahara, 200. Uh, millimeters of, of rain per year. This is a desertic island. Yes, and if erosion continues, they will and disappear. And like they, the they, older they, islands in Hawaii, and which they, have disappeared. And then they become sea mounts and disappear from there. Yes. The well, I think this was very, very uh, all encompassing. A big story here from this uh, dry riverbed. And uh, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. This was really helpful. Okay. Please. Thank you. Tak. Tak. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, señor. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in again. All the very best and hope to speak to you again very, very soon.